This question, helium is pumped into a spherical balloon at a constant rate of 4 cubic feet per second. So how fast is the radius increasing after one minute? And how fast is the radius increasing after, radius increasing after two minutes? All right. Uh, so the helium is pumped into a spherical balloon at a constant rate of 4 cubic feet per second. So what is the volume of the uh, uh, of the uh, uh, of the cube of the spherical balloon that will be 4 over 3 pi r cube now the volume is increasing at the rate of 4 cubic it means that if we differentiate both sides with respect to t this will become 4 over 3 pi times 3 r square dr over dt uh, the value of dv over dt is already given to us as 4 so this 3 and 3 is cancelled this is 4 pi r square dr over dt so we have to find the rate of change after one minute so for that we need to find the radius after one minute so uh, to find out the radius uh, so uh, let's cancel this out first and write that uh, dividing both sides by pi r square we have the value of dr over dt as pi r square uh, in other, another uh, way to write dr over dt over on the left. So we have to find the value of 1 over pi r square. The radius is not known to us. So that's where we're going to use uh, uh, the method. That since the uh, volume is increasing at the rate of 4 cubic feet per second. So after 1 second, we can say that the volume is 4 feet cube. So after one minute and one minute has 60 seconds so after 60 seconds the volume will definitely be 4 times 60 which is 240 feet cube if this is the volume if this is the volume then uh, we just plug in this volume in the formula which is 4 over 3 pi r cube and find the radius at that point so the volume is 240 this is 4 over 3 pi r cube 4 times 6 is 24 and this will be 0 and if we cross multiply 6, 60 times 3 is 180 so 180 over pi is r cube which means that the value of r will be cube root of 180 over pi and this value of r we are going to substitute over here over in the red one so the answer to part a uh, let me just draw a line over here so the answer to part a as in the change of the radius is going to be 1 over pi times uh, a cube root of 180 over pi square so that's how it is so this will become 180 over pi cube root of this value square of this value times pi and 1 over this value is coming as 0 0.02 uh, feet per second this is the required value of dr um, this is the required value of dr over dt uh, for case a and for case b uh, we'll do the same activity with the only difference as the time is two minutes so the for that for time is two minutes the volume will become twice right because the time will now become 120 second so 120 times 4 4 will be 480 so uh, we just replace this by two times it's as simple as that so this will become two times and this will also become two times so the radius at that point will become 360 over pi the cube root of 360 over pi so the value of the dr over dt uh dr over dt is gonna be gonna be uh one over pi times cube root of 360 over pi whole square so this will be 360 over pi cube root of this value square of this value times pi and 1 over this value is coming as 0 0.013 up to 2 decimal up to 3 decimal places that 0 0.0 up to 2 decimal places that 0 0.01 feet per second so this is the rate at which the radius is changing at that particular time thank you